documents, some of them confidential, to discover some of the convicted criminals in Lincoln Heights were wearing a uniform and a badge. You're about to hear a secret recording of an arrest made by one resident so afraid of the police, he carried a hidden camera. I realize now I walked into a trap. Stop me in the back at the. <laughs> I just can't believe it. Michael Glover was arrested in Lincoln Heights, a village of 4,000 residents and 17 police officers, including Officer Angela Taylor. The officer, ma'am, remember me? And before I could say another word, uh, Taylor was, was charging me. And she had a gun in her hand. And I'm looking down, staring down on the barrel of, of, of the gun, and uh, I'm just frozen like a, a deer in headlights. And it started with headlights. An internal affairs report shows the incident was, quote, caused by Officer Taylor's patrol vehicle operating on high beam status. The lights were so unusually bright that I could not see in front of me. And I pulled over, and they passed. And then they worked themselves back around me again. And, and ran me off again. The internal affairs report shows Mr. Glover decided to walk away and re-enter his vehicle. He never made it. Officer Taylor should have used her training to de-escalate the situation. When he attempted to leave, she did not have enough reasons to detain him. Instead, she called for backup. Stop me in the back, full force, right, right over the screws that holding my spine together. <laughs> Reviewing the audio recording, the I-team counted 29 times when Glover either told the officers he didn't do anything or asked why he was being handcuffed and tasered. When they finally rolled him over, there was a magazine full of bullets on the ground. He's got the bullets. He's got a gun. You know, when you say that around police officers, that's pretty much death right there. The bullets belong to the only convicted criminal at the scene. Not Glover. He was unarmed, and the charges of disorderly conduct and resisting arrest were dismissed. The bullets had been dropped by Sergeant Leroy Smith. The officer was convicted in 1996 for falsification, then violated his probation. Within the last two years, this has been some very trying times for my department. Chief Conroy Chance had promoted Smith to his second-in-command, but demoted and fired him this year. After a sting operation by sheriff's investigators, Sergeant Smith was arrested for felony theft while on duty. Is it fair to say that there are some hires that occurred before your tenure that were questionable hires or maybe shouldn't have been made in the first place? Yes, and now you know, we're actually paying the cost of those decisions that were made back then. Literally paying. $240,000 in this confidential settlement with other residents who were beaten and arrested by police in 2008 on charges that didn't stick. The officer came back and he tased me from behind. We are living in a sick place when we let guys like this become officers. That's what high school